got it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. All right, back in why town. Are you, why are you doing that? I thought you were just going to start talking. I don't know. I, I I don't know what to do right now. I'm just like, I got my notes. I Wait. That's why, good. Why can't you guys see my notes? All right. Maybe, maybe yeah, bad reception here. from my house in Hawaii. Oh, I see that, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it looks kind of windy. I acknowledge yeah, the tribal chief, so he gave me a resort on the island. Did he it, did he summon some sort of uh tornado warning or tropical storm warning? It looks no, it no, looks no, no, like not so very coming. good weather where you're at. <laughs> <They're just laughs> um all right, so the boys are back in town. We got the one and only Thrasher. Say hi, Thrasher. Hi, Thrasher. How are you? All right, that's why my arm was sticky. There's jelly on this. All right, we got Slauson. Boom, boom. Uh, boom that's boom. me. Bang, bang. Yeah, yeah. Save the black. I mean, the best for last. The one and only, your philosopher and mine, Noah King. Uh, welcome back to Three Dudes and a Brother. I like that. I uh, should know. we? Now that we're back, we're 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 revamping. Should we rename? Because that's a good candidate right there. We, it pushes the racial boundaries. Whoa, hold on now. Hold on. Are we going straight into renaming our program? We might. I mean, we can get more political. I'm down to get canceled. Uh, let's think. I don't know how you went from renaming it to wanting to all of a sudden go to such an extreme of getting canceled. And because so we, like, we're, we're recording this, by the way. Life. We're Wait, we're recording this, by the way. <laughs> yes. We can call it Three Dads and a Batch. <laughs> Three dads and a what? And a batch. And a batch. Like a come batch. batch. Are you auto correcting oh. the bitch? <laughs> uh, it's like batch, like bachelor, like. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa! All right, if we didn't explain the headline. You're too far into the show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the boys. The hardcore title is on the line tonight, ladies and gentlemen. No, be specific. It's the U.S. hardcore title. It is the WCW. Right, WCW, sorry. Title. I thought it was the Saskatchewan hardcore. <laughs> it's hard the Brazilian. It's the Brazilian International North Atlantic <laughs> Hardcore t- t- Championship. No, no, no. It Wait, is... but you skipped. You skipped the. You skipped the fucking uh, our our inter like our little discussion topic. You know. Oh yeah! Boom, boom, boom! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> boom 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 <laughs> and also you haven't uh when uh, you gotta uh we have a fucking sponsor all right our sponsors are the one the only m and j logical 305-697-2258 this is all still being sponsored by stacker two i don't know if they're still a company but if they are call us for your logs boots of the week <laughs> Oh, we're also sponsored call us, by uh, 10, 10, 3, 2, 1. I was just going to say that. I was just going <laughs> to um, All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, 305-697-2258. Emma Jake, logical, taking care of Miami, West Palm, Broward County. Please do. God, West Palm is so far, but we still service it. We still service it. Joe will service you, West Palm. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, WCW title, hardcore title, is on the line you tonight. Skip the fucking thing. What did I skip now? <laughs> I thought it's on the outline. Why would I do an outline? So, oh, I, good learning. so where do you? So, so where do you think CM Punk's gonna go? He showed up at all these paper, uh, other wrestling shows, WWE in the back. He showed up at Impact last week. He, he jerked think? off the Miz. Uh, they came to fruition with each other. I'm him, uh, him and H. Mine now, boys. What? It came to fruition. All right. So CM Punk is at WWE Raw. Is this to get a job back? Is this to take axes out of backs? Is this to say, Hunter, you were right. I should blow you more. What is No, this? he was also at Impact. Who was he blowing at Impact? I mean, Scott Diamore. Who else do you blow it in? I'm going to put that like in a headline on the bottom. Who was CM Punk blowing it in? But like CNN, <laughs> just have it there. Like breaking like news. Who was CNN blowing at impact? WWE. So me and Chris actually spoke about this, and we'll talk about it briefly. We don't want to cut too much into time here. But, you know, with Punk going there, is it a, you know, he got kicked out. 
everybody said he got kicked out by McMahon, right? right. Was, now, my thought process on this was he was kicked out by Vince McMahon because, sorry, I'm doing something else over here on the other computer. Uh, Clearly. McMahon doesn't, Mc, McMahon, now it's, now it's not his company anymore. I feel like he has to be like, hey, guys, we can't have this fucking guy back here. He's going through some shit. It might be a storyline. It might not fucking be a storyline over there. He's under contract over there. He's making millions over there. He can't be back here. Now, six weeks ago this happens. I think they fucking shut up about it. Him and McMahon go in a room. They talk for a minute. He leaves, and that's it. But it's not his company anymore. He owns 18% of this company. So what was it, Slauson? What do you think? Why he got kicked out? Yeah, why do you think he got kicked out? Am I wrong here? Am I right here? Well, I think uh, the first I, question, uh, the first question we should ask uh, the, the the two guys is their opinions on why he showed up. Um, I think I, I mean, think he's a shit starter. Go ahead, no, sorry. Oh no, 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 that's totally fine. Um, I mean, it's allegedly is a, uh, you know, uh, it's the CM Punk Peace Tour. Uh, it's the, yeah, Peace Man. Um, <laughs> uh, I think. Part of it may be him being a little unsure with what is exactly is going to happen uh, with AEW and, you know, his status. So he wants to, like, mend as many bridges as he possibly can. <laughs> I mean, you know, which there's nothing wrong with that because you want to keep your options open. Um, you know, who do you think who do you think he wronged in, in impact? Um, Trinity, maybe. Not Trinity Fox too, like the original Trinity from Abyss. Uh, TNA. <laughs> Maybe. He wronged Abyss. <laughs> Abyss is in WWE, by the way. Is he in the Rock of But he still office? went to TNA. <laughs> like as Abyss, he's in the office as Abyss in WWE. <laughs> With the mask on and Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, Janice. He, he brings Janice with him to yeah. work. Yeah. Janice. Um... Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think I think he wants an office job. Do you think Ooh. CM Punk is out of this world? <laughs> Joe, Joe, the weather was so bad that you got blown to to space. Yeah, so uh, I was reading that Chris Statlander is the one to be Jay Cargill, so I went and visited Chris Statlander in her island. In oh, space. okay. It's right there. Right in, there. In, it was at Scandinavia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, man. If, if you're Vince McMahon, if you're Vince McMahon, right? And do you do you remove Punk because of the reason I said, like because he works for the other company, or do you remove Punk because you're like no? Punk but does he work for them? Technically, yeah, he's still in the con- he's still in the contract for AEW. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of people are calling for him and Chris Jericho to headline Wembley. Uh, I think that could actually work. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if him and the Elite are ever going to come to it. Honestly, there's do they have any British people? Huh. <laughs> Who's British in AEW? Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. Than... <laughs> Drew McIntyre. Drew is. McIntyre. <laughs> He's um, Scottish. They could bring in a, a Dave Finley, maybe. They could. Oh. But he's oh. Irish. Close. No, they Close could bring back. in Will Ospreay. They can have Will Ospreay versus Kip Sabian. Well, Will Ospreay oh, is a Will Ospreay South African. He's not. And Helico is South African, you ding dong. Helico is South and African. And Helico is South African. So is Jack Evans. Fuck Jack Evans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris, tell him how I started AEW. <laughs> he came running out of, from where we were sitting, and it was it was the first match was, was Ring of Honors. It was actually a really good match. It was Rocky Romero versus Lee Moriarty. And Big Bill comes down with Lee Moriarty. And all of a sudden, it's, I mean, you could hear a pin drop because it's a pure, a mouse um, could fart and you could be like, what was that? It was a pure wrestling match. So it was, had pure rules. So no chanting, no nothing. I mean, like they were just doing roll, chain wrestling, chain wrestling. All of a sudden, Joe goes, fuck you, Big Bill. <laughs> <laughs> the loudest, the loudest. And, and like you, all you heard was just, <gasps> and I go, oh my God. Then all of a sudden, he comes and in then, hot right after that. He starts an Enzo chant, and the whole arena starts chanting, We want Enzo. Enzo. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Leave it, leave it, yeah. leave it, Joe. Um, all right. So speaking of Enzo Amore here, 
uh, let's get to hardcore wrestling, right? Okay. Because you know, he represents yeah. hardcore wrestling. Um, wh- what is hardcore wrestling? Noah, what is, what is, what is hardcore to you? Uh, well, um, you can't have hardcore without a, uh, stolen, uh, public shopping cart. It has to be Publix because it represents the South. Uh, <laughs> I assume you meant by wrestling, you were referring to the Southern roots, uh, in which the hardcore genre started, uh, which traces back to a legendary small company known as World Championship Wrestling. Boom. So WCW it inadvertently created hardcore wrestling, so they should rightfully have the title, I believe. I mean, y- yeah. The, I mean, in some of the craziest matches, it, it, like for WCW Hardcore Championship was – just insane. It was was a big Vito versus Crowbar, and Vito was wearing a dress or something like that. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The one with the the one where Jimmy Hart. I think the first match to start the tournament was Jimmy Hart and Norman Smiley for some reason, and Jimmy Hart wore like a, a night out, like a night a suit of oh, armor. Oh yeah, like the fucking Scooby Doo suit of armor. Yeah. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on. Let Let's back up here. Let's go a little backwards. Let's okay. talk about the uh, Bash at the Beach 99 episode. And we're going to discuss the hardcore junkyard match where a helicopter yeah. was used for a spotlight. And Holy shit. the WCW hardcore title birthed from that hardcore trophy that was won by Fit Finley because our boy, Mr. Sandman, showed up late to production, three hours late, drunk. And, drunk. <laughs> and this is all public knowledge. Fuck Sandman. You know? Um, you remember uh, the Sandman? No, I remember that? Hardcore Hack. Oh, that's okay. who that was. All right, so hardcore. you're coming in hot there with you're coming in hot there with with some Sandman. Did, did you and uh, Sandman have a little bit of a run? in Yeah, actually <laughs> we did. Actually we did. West Palm Beach, and you know what? Fuck that guy. Oh, not in San Francisco. For a minute to fucking say ten words. Fuck Sandman. Um, Speaking of showing up drunk, we'd like to introduce you to our next sponsor. Uh, we are sponsored the by Sam- E and J Ecological. Oh, fuck yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah, we are. We should start well, doing this. Here. We should all get bottles of E and J and take a shot every show and until they sponsor us. They, until they, they sponsor, sponsor us. Sponsor us. Um, Joe's gonna Joe's gonna get a snapback. Get us E and J snapback. We're right. fucking dying. Right now, I'm um, rocking the Florida Panthers. I, I like that. Like Brandon Montour yeah. led. Florida Panthers. Okay. Hashtag go cats. Also go cats. for our Paradox fans, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a watch along of that junkyard match at some point because it's pretty funny. And yeah. uh, it would be yes, fun. But I that's like really that no wrestler that escaped without tetanus from that match. Oh, 100%. Right. hundred <laughs> percent. It's like a well that's just because they that's just because they shook the Sandman's hand at the beginning of the show. We can so, watch that on our Patreon. So we really, should do it with we'll do that. That'll be a bonus episode, future bonus episode. Per internet search, I just want to read off the hardcore wrestling definition. If you guys don't mind, it, yeah, yeah, okay. all right. Hardcore wrestling, also known as garbage wrestling, per Uncle Jimmy C. Uh, you know, the, Google, Google, uh, caps, uh, the uh, garbage, the G and the and the W, like, like it's proper to call it garbage wrestling. I well, just wanted to point that out because I think wrestling. Google, you guys, because because fuck Google for doing that, right? Uh, <laughs> and then so yeah, go on. Hardcore wrestling, also known as garbage wrestling, capital G, capital W, is a form of professional wrestling that eschews or eschews traditional concepts of match rules in favor of matches that take place in unusual environments using foreign objects that are not normally permitted. Otherwise, aka also known as Lazy booking, which we see a lot of in 2020. Now, now, can I ask a question? I, I have a really, really big question about this. And I've been thinking about it long and hard all week. Long <laughs> and hard. <laughs> Do you consider ECW hardcore wrestling? Or are they? is it just wrestling? It's hardcore wrestling. Is it? And because every match, every match they had was technically- use the weapon. So you're saying if it's if it's consistent, it just becomes wrestling. Mm-hmm. 
They were not hardcore wrestling. They, they were, were not hardcore wrestling. Wrestling, but then, but I was then, about no, to but say, then, by no, that, that definition actually... of unconventional like settings and things like that, no, you can't really consider them hardcore wrestling, right? But so they never oh, really, okay. Okay. technically, if you think about it, they never really used the word hardcore. That was uh, when it was appropriated by you know the uh, the larger whites. Uh, <laughs> Somebody's been watching too much Pat McAfee, huh? For the brand. Fucking, uh, well, no. So then technically, if if Freddie Blassie and Dory Funk Sr., uh, uh, father of the great Dory Funk Jr., uh, who is still very much alive, <laughs> living in Ocala, Florida, and thriving. Uh, booked on every show he has, but he's booked, he's over. But uh, <laughs> so then, they, so then they were they were doing that shit. Basically, what ECW was doing is what they were doing is just blading and and having matches all over the place and and kind of going crazy like a real fight. So is that what you're saying ECW was doing? And then just because then you didn't every promotion had like an aspect of that. Smoky Mountain had that too. Smoky Mountain was like. Yeah, but was was show. Smoky Mountain though? Like, was Smoky Mountain like every match was like with ECW? It was every match had a chair, every match had a, had a table, had had a high spot with you know garbage cans, you know, laying a table. Prop on make it hardcore. But here's my thing: if every match is like that, and then you just throw in one Lucha Libre match, I think Lucha Libre would be that specialty match. You see what I'm saying? Everything oh, else is just regular okay. wrestling. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I think they did kind of build it like that, though. Like, like they kind of, they kind of did. How my back was booking it? Like a yeah, they they did that. They 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 did that with grappling match. It was like it was kind of like a special attraction match. Yeah, they always did it with a three way dance. They always did a little Guido to Jerry and Super Crazy. Those were always pretty decent. Jerry Lynn versus RVD. Pretty hot openers. Yeah, but the Jerry Lynn versus RVD always involved the chair. Well, so that's a it. right so that so that's that's a form of an object right and the so, reason i said well go ahead i'm sorry so so like but if every match has a, uses a chair i think that's just going to be a normal match it wouldn't be classified as hardcore to where i think this wcw version of hardcore wrestling is just comical it's not even wrestling it's just fucking comical it was it was comical at the very beginning when you had jimmy hart and norman smiley it was comical the whole time, really. I mean, how about David like, Flair? Every, David Flair won it, and David Flair yeah. was going around with a legit crowbar and putting it to Jeff Jarrett's throat. And, uh, well, when Vito had it, it was a little bit more of, like, a standard hardcore kind of shit. Because so, they were they were biting off of that 24-7 thing, too, because, like, all the none of the matches for, like, a good set of months took place even in the ring. And then yeah, they came so, up with that thing where they would start outside. Actually, the yeah, they actually had to. There was a rule where they had to start in the back at some point. So they were like having a cup yeah. of coffee, and the other guy came up like a fucking Looney Tune and fucking smacked them. And then the match. I was remember, off I them. remember that match very vividly. There was a Terry Funk and Norman Smiley match that started out like that. Norman was yeah. in the back, and he was still getting his chest protector on. And Terry came up behind <laughs> yeah. him and tried rolling him up. And he was like, "What the heck?" And he, he like he got <laughs> off him. And that's when he did the big wiggle on him and everything like that. The the Norman Smiley, well, that match that I wanted to have queued up and everything on my laptop, but uh, that fucking, that match with, uh, was it the, yeah, the end of the tournament was him getting locked in the elevator and then Brian Nobbs gets hit instead of, Jimmy Hart hits Brian Nobbs instead of Norman mm -hmm. Smiley. When the oh, elevator yeah, goes to the elevator and then he just presses the down yeah. button. Well, so I hate and... to break <laughs> yeah, 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 because... I hate to break some hearts right now, but, uh, our boy David Flair never actually held the hardcore title in WCW. Oh, we got a correction. First episode back. Yes. Uh, there were 16 champions. No, I never said he won it. I said he was going after it. And uh, he was going, uh, okay. No, I said he was going after it. And he went after people with a real crowbar. The, the shortest reigning work. champion was our boy, the one and only PCO. Technically, Paul he wasn't Ouellette. PCO yet. He was pre-CO. No, he was Pierre Ouellette. He he was Carl Ouellette. 
Yeah, so he was like, pre CEO. I like pre CEO. Pre CEO <laughs> sounds like a like a rip off of Boss Baby. Do you guys want to know how long Mister Pre CEO won the or held the title for? About uh, twelve minutes, maybe. Chris Fasher. I would say it's uh, probably like four minutes. Sir Chris Lawson. I'm gonna go with a week, just to be minutes. Oh, but then eight technically minutes. I win. I was closest. Yeah, but you went over, Dum Dum. <laughs> Who was closest? Who was closest? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I said a week. <laughs> uh, there's a there's some interesting things about this title, man. I I just I I, I don't get it. You know, because I, I'm looking. Did at you know it was a ripoff of the ECW title? It yes. was completely, and I'm a belt. Oh, yeah. If I was not in huh? San Francisco, I would show you guys my belt collection. Uh, <laughs> So, but it I doesn't know. look like you're in San Francisco. It looks like you're on the edge of the sun with that light that's beaming you in the face. No, it's my condominium. See, me and uh, me and uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, he he moved, so I took his condo. Um, so anyway, and you you wore Panthers gear to the condo. <laughs> the condo. Red, it's Niner gear. It's Niner shirt. It looks, uh, it looks like you're t- you're doing anyway. the podcast uh, with the refrigerator door yeah. open and the refrigerator <laughs> light hitting you in the face. <laughs> But no, I mean, I'm looking at this title, right? And I go back and I watch some, <laughs> some watch some videos. I'm trying to fucking be serious here, guys. <laughs> serious, please. Thank you, Noah. <laughs> um, no, you look at this title and it's like, okay, they put it on Bam Bam, right? Sorry. Finley turns on Ryan it. Nobs, hits him with a chair, and in 32 seconds, Bam Bam pins uh brian knobs okay first of all why doesn't bam bam go over like a fucking monster and turn that title into something real why even put bam bam in that fucking situation who was well, who's but wasn't russo booking those days yes he, he was. definitely was Here, i'm gonna get to the best part bam bam didn't has- bam bam get hurt right after that though he has one title defense against the demon right Oh, I think he gets hurt. He gets, he gets hurt in that match. Oh. I think he gets hurt in that match. Oh. You know, he's the uh, he's the strength and conditioning coach for the Chicago White Sox. Uh, Jeff mind you, yeah. mind you, the way Bam Bam won the title was Fit Finley hitting Brian Knobs with a chair. Right, right at the beginning of the match, Fit Finley counts to three. Third, seven days later, he has a match against Demon, which lasts about fifteen seconds. He went. He keeps the title. Then he moves on. Six days later, so 13 days later, this is how great the booking was by Vince Russo and WCW. 13 days later, Bam Bam loses the title via Finley hitting him with a chair and siding with Brian Nobbs. 13 days prior, Finley hit Nobbs with a chair, siding with Bam Bam. What the fuck were they booking in WCW, guys? Well, like I, th- I said, swir- swerve, 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 swerve. Well, swerve, like, I, like I said, I think Bam Bam was hurt. That's the reason why the tour, uh, the demon match went so short. He had like a knee or something like that. No problem. Uh, he a so, knee. no, he had like a knee, like a knee injury, like that was like it was like an ACL or something. He wrestled through it, and that's the reason why I, they. I think he actually might have gotten hurt in the first match, to be honest with you. And then they, that's why the the second match with Demon was so short, and then that's why he dropped the belt to whoever it was, the third one. Well, I'm guessing he got hurt walking down the ramp because they never fucking touched in the first match. Finley just fucking knocked knobs with a chair. No, I um, think he got hurt in the knobs match. That's what I'm saying. Is he got he hurt? Knobs was hurt, hurt the too. Knobs was hurt match. too. They were both hurt, so that's the reason why they wanted Bam Bam. Well, I guess was less hurt, and that's the reason why Finley sided with Knobs again at the end. No problem. No problem at all with that. I I get. I just if Bam's hurt, fucking write something. You own the video store, brother. Write something. You know? Bro. 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 Come on, bro. You put Trish Stratus in bro and panties, bro. Figure out something for the title, bro. Um, no. I think that's how the bro. meeting. I think that's how the production meeting went. Yeah. I think that's how the production meeting went. Yeah, that's what they said. Like verbatim. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's that's crazy that you were able to find transcripts from that specific production meeting. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I mean, so this title starts. When did it start? Bash at the Beach? No, it started. The inaugural title came Mayhem. out. Mayhem. 
Mayhem, Mayhem, uh, dude. WCW Mayhem, worst fucking. Well, not the worst game. Backstage Assault was. The I worst. was about to say this whole this whole deal was actually an advertisement for Backstage Assault. Right. Well. <laughs> I, I read that. That was actually like I thought that was crazy how that like lined up. Well, because yeah. if you if you if you look at it, Mayhem was sponsored by EA Sports, so yeah. that was the first pay per view that EA Sports sponsored them. So then they came out that because I think they had like a two or a three game contract with WCW. Well, they, they did a out. Nitro, right? No, no, that was a claim. That was, that was a, claim. a claim that did that. Um, you had you had uh, Mayhem, and then Backstage Assault was the two games, and there was a third that was supposed to be made, but the other two were terrible. <laughs> well, that uh, fucking Nitro was terrible too. That was really bad. You know but what the I best game was? No, the best game WCW made besides World Tour. besides World Tour, yes, but WCW. What was it? It was the first one on the PlayStation. It was just WCW Wrestling, I think it was called. It was Sting on the cover, and he had, it was flexing. Oh yeah, yeah, the old school, the very old school one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that was the best one because if you hit a certain button when you were picking your wrestlers, the screen would flip and you would get all like all Japanese wrestlers. It was like the coolest thing. Oh, oh, it wasn't that one just like a remake of um, what's the name? Which one? Uh, fucking um. I believe that one was a remake of either World Tour or uh, WCW NWO Revenge. No, this one was on the regular PlayStation, and World Tour was on six. No, yeah, this one, this one was like one of the first ones. Mm, this one was one of the first ones. To do your finisher, you had to hold the circle button, and your wrestler would go like this, and then his arms would go up, and that means the finisher <laughs> was ready, and then that's when he would grab him. <laughs> oh, this this belt. Well, hold on, hold on, Joe, hold on. This is how they did. This is the Sting's finisher, right? It was the Scorpion Death Drop. So you hit circle like this, then you would hold it, his hands would go up like this, then he would grab and then spin the guy around that way. So it was a lot of arm motions. It looked like he was doing the YMCA when you do the Sting. That's funny. I don't know. I, I think, what was the best wrestling game in your guys' opinion? Across World the board. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no Mercy, dude. Best wrestling game. Uh... Are we going? Are we going? Uh, Raw versus SmackDown, or whatever it was. Um, two thousand seven. Yeah, around that time, Brock Lesnar was on the fucking cover. No, you're no, thinking was, of. You're talking about here comes the pain. I was yeah, here comes the pain. That was the fucking the one, though. Here comes the pain. That, 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 that game was badass. I still love. I, I I'm a N64 mark, so I like No Mercy. Star Fox. I like No Mercy and World Tour, but Revenge is also great. Revenge is very underrated. I believe Revenge was the first wrestling game I had. Uh, WrestleMania 2000 was also great. I had some stuff on the Genesis. Oh, you had the yeah, those were good ones too. Um, I don't remember which ones I had on Genesis, yeah, had but those were Gamecast or Dreamcast. Gamecast. What the fuck was Gamecast? It's all we can afford, bro. Gamecast <laughs> was like when you couldn't afford the actual Dreamcast. Oh, so, so anyway. From ninety, isn't that from? Where is that from? Is that from? That's from something yeah, too. Uh, that was from Malibu's Most Wanted. Oh, the hardcore title lasted from ninety nine to oh one. Our first champion being Norman Smiley. Our final champion being Meng. Between that, and, and Meng dropped it like a week later because he was in WWF dropping out with Rikishi. So here's the thing, right? They always say on your tombstone you have the year you were born, the year you died, and everything in the middle is what counts. And the year you won the hardcore title. Yeah. The year I won the fucking 24-7, 365, one time. <laughs> you should put that up. <laughs> um, if you die before me and that's not on your tombstone, I'd be very disappointed. You better put it on my tombstone. <laughs> this is in recording. You have it on my tombstone. One time, 24-7, 365, OCW champion. There you go. Yep. Oh, yeah, so, it was OCW. It wasn't even CCW. I, we already talked about Bam Bam and the amazing booking ha- that happened with Fit Finley. We we're we're gonna move past Eric Bischoff handing it off to Big Vito and Johnny whatever. It, 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 we're gonna jump all the way to the greatest champion of all time, Lance Storm. And when he won this title, Chris Thrasher, what did he rename this title? Didn't he re- rename it the Canadian Hardcore Championship? Negative. Noah King, what did he rename this title? Damn. Um... Negative. Chris Lawson, what did he rename this title? Wait, I was getting there. You didn't even give me the a chance, sister. brother. The no, Saskatchewan. I'll let you. I'll, I'll do the first two letters. No, no, you do the last two. The Saskatchewan Hardcore. 
Anybody? International title. I was gonna say international championship. Yeah. I'm I'm too stoned to say Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan hardcore international title or the, the shit, shit title for short. Well, uh, no, it'd just be the shit because the title yeah, is just the, title the shit. This title's in there, yeah. In the acronym. And that's pretty much what this entire fucking thing was. Was shit. You know the craziest thing was that he actually tried to like actually have matches for it. Um, which kind of in turn, which I did think about this, technically was still hardcore because if you think about uh if you go and play Call of Duty and you go to hardcore, it's actually bare bones. So technically his was still hardcore, just in a different manner. Huh? I, like I took my eyes off the road for two seconds, and all of a sudden, I would come back. Where and are, it's are not, we, we talking about Call of Duty, hardcore bear? No, it just broke it down philosophically. I'm just saying. I mean, it still made sense. Do you need him to do that again for you? So, hey, did you guys know that Mang take two? Did you guys know Mang presented the championship to Barbarian as a gift at an independent wrestling event in 2001? However, today in 2023, as of right now in this recording, from what I've read, the title Barbarian is, has the longest reign. No, the title is hanging in the WWE headquarters in Connecticut. So, so he presented it to him and took it back. I guess so. They took the bar. Where's the barbarian? The barbarian's dead. <laughs> I'm young. So, if you guys remember, speaking of Dory Funk, his brother who's still alive, Terry. Hanging on by they're both right still alive, they're both great. Terry they're Funk, private. you guys remember the fucking snippets with Terry Funk and Eric Bischoff when he was when he was WCW hardcore champion? Where he's like That's he was time. fucking trying to buy the title, he was trying to force him to retire, and then automatically he gets a new contract and dresses as a gorilla and beats up uh Shane Douglas. Well, if you also so remember amazing. too, you remember remember too, he was he was uh, the commissioner. Terry Funk was the commissioner. Yeah. Well, he also dressed up as Santa Claus one time too, right? And he started beating everybody's ass, and he kept saying ho ho ho, and he was yeah, it was fucking great. That that was the best storyline. It was I th- it was around the mayhem time. Terry Funk was commissioner. He had to wrestle Kevin Nash because. Kevin Nash and the NWO took capture capture of Arn Anderson, and they beat him up for two weeks straight. He was had bloodied eyes, busted up in cheeks for two weeks straight. They beat the shit out of him, and it was Terry Funk's idea. I wrestle you, Kevin Nash, and if I I beat you, you give me Arn Anderson back. If you beat me, you could be commissioner. Do we think that's when Arn got the Glock? That's when you. Yeah, he pointed at Kevin Nash. What was wrong with WCW? A lot. Did you shrink yourself? What? <laughs> 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 you, not right now. It's uh, it's uh, yeah, new movie. It's your I version of myself. Bugs Life. Did you guys like Bugs Life or 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 what was the other one? Ants. Yes. Which one's like better, Bugs. Bugs Life or Ants? Go. Ants was like fucking. Ants was kind of dark. I got fucking. Ants. ants was like really intense. Yeah, like Bugs Life was really like fluffy and like. What's wrong with the black ants, Noah? Why are they so dark? Were they black ants? I don't That's know. But he's talking about their that? dark ants. Why do they gotta be dark? No, the movie. Well, I was ants. trying to talk about. I was trying to talk about animated films, and then you took it to the movie Ants. All right. So- <laughs> Terry Funk, I, I get and then back to Terry Funk. Back to Terry Funk. I, why? Why am I going back to Terry Funk in the ripe years of 2001 when he's I don't uh, know his I don't prime, know. sir? I'll have his you know. Forever, forever. Yeah, it's forever. his best stuff. Jesus Christ! His his best stuff. His best stuff. His best stuff. His best times are ahead of him. Okay, his grave's coming up shortly. Wow. Um, Wow. <laughs> uh, so anyway, but I I just I don't know where to go with this because like this is a great topic. WCW. Neither did they. Huh? Well, that's the thing. That's we're on brand because <laughs> neither did they. 
Is there, I was just making it up as they go. Because I can't make sense of this fucking title. Brian Knobs held it three times. Norman Smelly held it twice, but when I no, think his name's it, not Norman Smelly. It's Norman Smiley, not I Smelly. Think it's Norman Smiley, whatever I think. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you know how many fucking... tables they went through in this division? I can't. Actually, it. we don't want to <laughs> forget um, <laughs> the uh, most hardcore boy band to ever lived. Three count. Uh, they did hold it simultaneously. There's a free bird effect. There's a free bird rule that, that all three of them could defend it. Exactly. <laughs> I, between Norman, Smelly, and, and three count holding the title all at once. That is very funny to me. All right. Norman, Smelly. <laughs> three count. Three count's really awful. Should we do an episode on three count? They were, they were really on just three count? Yeah, like a deep dive on three count, like their bios, where they're from, how they were raised. Did Tank oh, Abbott yeah. ever win the, the 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 title? No, dude, he tried to cut somebody on pay per view, and they did not put him on TV anymore. I think he said he was going to kill him. You remember that? We should yes. watch that. Who, we should watch. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Can I legally use that? What is that? Where is that from? Are you using Zoom emojis? Is that what they provide you? Yes. yes. Okay. Is it Anna? Because we, I, I guess, we're not sponsored by Apple, so we can't say what they call it. So would it be? Oh uh, shit! Anna, so I gotta beat that out. Well, would it be Anna Zumi? I'm not sure. Oh, what'd you just call me? Anna, anime? Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Z- emoji. Hardcore wrestling. Do you think um, <laughs> ECW or WWE? <laughs> I'm sorry, I meant WCW or WWE. Who do you guys think of when you think of hardcore wrestling? I'm way too I hot think, for what is happening right now. I think of Rumble 2001. Oh, fucking... shit, I thought you were going to say the Rumble 2000. You, know, you guys remember no way I almost 2000. went to Rumble 2000, honestly. Oh, did you... I actually just recently rewatched that, and I just missed, uh, I don't know, that Cactus Jack Triple H match is always fucking great. The fucking I just gash watched that, from the... Uh... Oh, the one. gash is oh, half from the fucking palette. The palette, the palette suplex is all pretty crazy. Well, what about bad. what about that Royal Rumble match where um oh, where Tommy Dreamer? Where they start out when they just start out throwing out uh, the weapons and they just beat the shit out of each other in the Royal yeah, Rumble. Yeah, that was Rumble 2001. That was actually the, yeah, the Hardcore Rumble. What Drew Carey was in that one. What about WrestleMania when Kane threw Raven through the glass pane window? Oh yeah, with the uh, the the water hose. Yeah, that yeah, was, was seventeen. That? Uh, 17. Yeah, that was yeah, that's because that's oh one when they were doing that shit ever, right? WrestleMania Speaking, yeah. is definitely the best WrestleMania ever for sure. Speaking which one? of uh, which one's the best? Of other <laughs> <laughs> Royal Rumble two thousand uh, one is uh, when it's like Kane the it's the like record, a hardcore right? rumble, basically. You look like you look like the fourth chipmunk that was lost from the from love- <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> and your your name's Tardo. I love the gimmick that they do with the with Drew Carey in, in that fucking rumble. It's great. The craziest thing we're talking about greatest hardcore moments and not revolving around WCW at all. Um, oh, something else I recently rewatched was that Backlash uh, two thousand when uh, Shane wrestled Big Show. He jumped off yeah. the fucking uh, Kerjigger didn't land on him at all and this is before wwe like finally figured out how to do camera cuts right because they show the replay and they show the close-up like right next to big show's knee and you see shane not land on him at all <laughs> and that's they're just a, like oh, that's... Boy, that's and we're like no we saw he just landed on the fucking on the wood <laughs> he didn't yeah, land on big fucking, show at all uh yeah dude he, he would do that because that was similar to the one he did with blackman but like that's that's one of the more underrated ones because the one there where he gets thrown through the glass at King of the Ring and then uh, and then the, the Steve Blackman one. Uh, yeah, there was one more, right? What was the other? What's the matter, um, Chris? Well, this the Steve Blackman one was the uh, the Kendo shot where he falls by himself, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he gets hit and he's on top of the thing, but then doesn't doesn't no Blackman no he falls and then Blackman elbows him. That's what happens. All right, so I have some homework for you guys really quickly. By the end of this show, I want you guys to think of 
a WCW hardcore wrestler and a WWE hardcore wrestler. Chris Thrasher is losing him. Hey, Chris, hit your inhaler one time. Um, I want you guys to think of a WCW hardcore wrestler and a WWE hardcore wrestler, and I want you to tell me what match do you have there. <clears throat> right, we'll get back what, to this. What? Well, yeah, so it made no sense. We have, all right. We're going to have a uh, hardcore fantasy booking. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so one we right. get one guy from WCW and one, one guy, guy from, from WWE. WCW, right? One guy from WWF, right? Okay. One guy from ECW, right? And one guy from AEW. Okay. All right. Whoa, there I am. Where'd I go? All right. And it's a hardcore three-way dance. And it's a hardcore four-way. Fuck it. <laughs> Wait, you didn't even. So ECW's in there too. Yeah, WCW, WWF, okay. or E. I get what you're ECW saying. W and AEW. Okay. Okay. All right. Where? What is wrong? Can you guys not take me serious right now, please? I am having a serious meeting. All right. I, I got mine. Can I go? All right. Are we doing this already? Are we wrapping up? <laughs> oh, are we? I don't know. How much time do we have? Like... I mean, like, what else is there what to talk time? about? Aside from this ripoff, I think we've crazy. got. I think we. I think we. We did a really good job of staying formatted, and we've we've gone off the rails. But but you know oh, we we finished the story. Fucking topic here. Do we have to the vote story's... on a topic for next week? Well, no. I want to do the. I want to do the the match thing. Oh yeah, no, we'll do that. What we'll match? That. The thing. The, well, oh, the thing you just fucking described. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's high on eucalyptus and uh, uh, bamboo. Or <laughs> Noah that has to hey, deal Thrasher, with... are you back yet or what? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Do, can I... So can I go? Can I say the thing that I All want right, to say? Go ahead. First, who's your WCW wrestler? Uh, Terry Funk. <laughs> <laughs> who's your WCW I already feel like I know where he's going to go with this. Huh? I feel like I know where you're gonna go with this, but go ahead. He's got four Terry Funks. <laughs> no, yeah, AEW. Technically, he can't have four Terry Funks. No, did have... you say WWF, Joe, or WWE? No, Chainsaw WWE. Charlie. I'm gonna go with that uh, Chainsaw Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> you're something else, man. You're something else. And then ECW. <laughs> the the Terry Funk. And ECW. Terry Funk. Terry Funk. And AEW. Darby Allen. I knew he was going to go Darby. <laughs> <laughs> so do now, to... do, do they have to be hardcore wrestlers or could they have wrestled hardcore like once? Whatever you want, man. Well, yeah. Because well, if you're doing AEW, like what qualifies is their. That's right. like five guys. Well, we didn't include TNA slash Impact. Oh, dude, we could have did that. That would have been better. Abyss. I was going to say this Funk is Abyss. abyss. <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in a Hell to Cell match at No Way Out 2000. <laughs> Boom. That's what I would book right there. Uh, all right, so Noah, go ahead. You go next. Oh, shit, I have to go next? Um, yeah. I'm going to go... Uh, well, shit, this is tough. Uh, do I have to, or who do I start with? Whatever, Joe, who do you want to start with? Uh, the white guy. <laughs> well, which, WCW. Company? <laughs> which company? Which <laughs> company? said white guy, so WCW probably. Word, okay. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go Norman Smiley. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Not Jimmy Hart in a in a suit of armor. That was a close. That was a close second, actually. <laughs> Jimmy Hart in a Scooby Doo suit of armor. <laughs> in a Scooby Doo suit of for WWF. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, Spike Dudley. In WWF, I like that. I like that. That's WWF. Um, 
ECW, I'm going to go Mikey Whipwreck. <laughs> mm. Okay. Good okay. Good one. Uh, so I just want you guys to know, mine's going to go a little more in deep. I'm going to give you... You still got AEW. Yeah, I got AW and uh, TNA. Uh, AW. No, no, in case you want to jump in on this, mine's going to gain, mine's going to include the type of match, the winner of the match, what promotion the match took place under, and who interferes in the match. Oh my gosh! Oh, you got interference too? Oh, motherfucker! I'm all wait till you hear my ending. I want to close this show out. Okay. Uh, uh, Terry uh, Funk versus Chainsaw Charlie versus the Terry Funk versus Darby Allen is closing the show out, buddy. <laughs> that's, versus that's the best. You forgot a bit. Versus a bit. Yeah, it's a five way TNA. In five a way. Hell ball in a cell, no way out 2000. I got Triple go H runs in. Run pedigrees, all of them. Okay. Uh, who am I? Where am I at? Okay. I got Mikey. I got Spike. I got Norman. Uh, AW. I am going. Uh, shit. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm gonna go Sean Spears. Yeah, because he knows how to fuck up a chair shot. A fucking chairman. He's gonna he's open everybody up hard way. His life again. <laughs> he's gonna open everybody up hard way. <laughs> he's just gonna <laughs> fucking turn the chair the wrong way and start wailing <laughs> on people that don't want it. And he's gonna assault everybody in this match. Yeah, I think this is the show. TNA, I'm gonna go with a deep cut here. Uh, I think going... I think Sean Spears was providing the deep cut. To your <laughs> <spirit. Yeah. laughs> I'm gonna go with a TNA deep cut. I'm going uh, relic. Did you guys know his name is Killer, spelled backwards? No. Oh shit! Oh, I just threw up in my mouth. And I'm gonna go. Did you know and, Red uh, Rum is murder spelled backwards? Chris, I already said that joke. And I'm going uh, in a uh, lethal lockdown match. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lockdown 2005. <laughs> there you go. Who wins? Who wins? Oh, it has to be Spike. <laughs> Wait. You He's going to. I thought you said huh? What? No, I said Spike. So it has to be Spike. What's going to happen is uh, he's going to get a run in from. Uh, Brother Ray, not Bubba Ray, Brother Ray. There um, go. and uh, the finish is gonna be him uh doing the <laughs> the Dudley dog to uh to relic by uh posting himself off of the fucking uh cables that are holding the roof of, <laughs> of the lethal lockdown, okay, through a table. Almost through the top of the cage, so one of Relic's legs is like stuck in the cage, so he can't kick out. Hey, did you guys know Relic spelled backwards is killer? That shit's crazy. Oh, I didn't know that. Thrasher, what you got? I got Sab <laughs> Sabu. I I got four Sabus. I got four Sabus and Lance Archer. Four Sabus and Lance Archer. <laughs> no, I'm fucking kidding. I'm kidding. Um, so my WCW. You know, this is gonna pop Slauson. Is gonna be the wall. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking yeah, man. My WWF. Fucking. This is the reason why I asked this question. Does it have to be a hardcore champion or could he have competed in hardcore matches? Is gonna Kirby? be nope. JBL. Ah, uh, is it JBL? Or like just Bradshaw. Just Brad Bradshaw. Oh, it would be <laughs> it would be like APA. APA, right? APA. Yeah. Pounding APA. ass, Bradshaw. Mm -hmm. Always pounding yeah. ass. Always pounding ass. ECW. ECW. We got. We have to have New Jack. Ah. Uh, oh, that's Jack. a good I should one. Should want all black guys, but I felt like that was expected. Uh, Impact. This is where you gotta you gotta throw Sabu in there. <laughs> so Impact Sabu. Impact Sabu. Sabu. Impact Sabu. Yes. Because Impact Sabu wasn't high on that much drugs as he was as ECW Sabu was. Uh, oh, fair. I want him! I want him through the roof if I'm booking him in a match. You know? oh, for real. I, I want, want him to get it. No, but, no, but you, also, you also realize though where the match is taking place. It's being taken place in Impact in a six sided of steel. So 
Oh, oh gotcha. Okay. We're swinging wrestling. AJ Styles confirmed it. Um, but my AEW is going to surprise people. It's Lance Archer. Well, you just okay. said Lance Archer, so now I'm not surprised. <laughs> he did. <just said. laughs> Before seven, so, but who do I have left then? I have I already did, I did everybody. Yeah, I did everybody. I think that's everybody who wins. Oh, who wins? I would have to go Lance Archer. What pay per view is it at? Uh, the lockdown pay per view. The in, guy in impact. Who four inches in a matter of four years between 29 and 32 or 33. Anyway. Lance Archer. So you have Lance Archer, you have Spike Dudley, and you have the Terry Funk or Chainsaw Charlie. I've all of them. The Terry Funk, Chainsaw Charlie, you just Terry Funk. Match, but who won your match? <laughs> oh, uh, fucking nobody. Triple H runs in, pedigrees everybody. Fucking and they throw the match out. All yeah. right. So my match took a place at what we're gonna call Halloween Hardcore Heaven ninety nine. We're going to call it that. So it's and like a WCW, WCW ECW crossover. Yeah, we're going to Norman Smelly. Norman Smiley. Crash Holly from the WWF. Oh, good pick. The I one ECW's Mike Awesome. I'm just hoping he dies. Uh, and AEW's Mox. All right. This so AEW's what? Mox. Oh, oh Mox. Okay. okay. Here's, the swerve, said- Here's the swerve, bro. This match is taking place in the hardcore three stages of hell match. I was going to say that one too. Well, it's a mixture of when Abdul the Butcher was electrocuted and three stages and three cages on top of each other. All it's right? the ready to rumble cage with Abdul the Butcher getting getting electrocuted. So Abdul the is still there getting fell. electrocuted. It's <laughs> actually not. <laughs> David Arquette is pulling the the switch. So, this match starts off with Norman Smiley coming out. And Wait, Detroit. you didn't pick an Impact guy. You didn't pick yeah, an, you impact an Impact guy. Oh, Impact, we're going to go... Judas Macias. <laughs> A shocker. I'm going to go Shannon Moore because I'm hoping he's the one that goes. Oh. All right. ain't, ain't Shannon Moore with the fucking spiky-ass mohawk? And Jesse Like, Neal? again, from three count. Yes. So this match is your hardcore right three stages of hell cage match, your typical match, you know, what you find in WCW and TV. Uh, however, this match ends when Sandman interferes, causing a distraction for Sabu to jump off the third cage all the way on top to land on Norman Smiley and Crash Highly for the pin one, two, three. However, this match is not over because the Dudleys run out now and then New Jack covers Sabu he snorts a line, stabs a fan, and runs away with the titles. Snorts a line. And Triple H pedigrees him, and then he gets everything. <laughs> and Triple H pedigrees him. And he gets he's... his drugs and the title, and Triple H He off. gets his drugs. W champion. And the title. That's hilarious. And he'll be defending it this week. And then he stabs Stephanie in the nighttime. Wrestling Paradox Podcast. I have been Daddy Swolso. That is Daddy Thrasher. Well, you're not dad yet. Daddy King, Daddy Thrasher, and Daddy Slauson. I'm not a dad either. Daddy, Daddy Slauson doesn't exist yet. Not yet. Three hat guys. Well, he doesn't know. Well, he doesn't know. He, sure. he could be a daddy. Three hats and a tail. I like that name. Ladies and gentlemen, please send in what you think should be our new name for this podcast. Um, and please, E and J, <laughs> uh, sponsor us. I am single, E&J. single-handedly campaigning for the E and J sponsorship. Uh, I will. We're sponsored by Double J's, E and J <laughs> and M and J. M and J. Maybe M and J should have to get together E&J. with E and J. Yeah. I, then it would be me squared or me J squared, M and E and J squared. What's wrong with you, <laughs> <laughs> Joe? Are you going to be able to get back to your destination? It looks like a hurricane is about to. Yeah, take yeah, yeah. I'll be right there. Okay. All right. Your refrigerator door. Your your refrigerator (laughs) door is still open. No. So anyway, dude, have you have you guys ever seen them? Just made me think. You ever got you guys ever seen the goods? I'm gonna stop recording this. Oh yes, I've seen the goods. I was about to say. I was 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 gonna say. Do we have time? First of all, we have time for the the pay per view. Are we still doing those? What are we doing? What? Do we have time for a guest the pay per view? Are we still doing those? 
I didn't. I think, don't know if you guys still want to do. It. I mean, we I didn't think cats it. like water. No, but cats are really good with wind. 